Hello and welcome to the DNFT Scientific Research Presentation at the World Federation of Chiropractic Congress 2011, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. The DNFT Scientific Research Study is entitled Health-Related Quality of Life Improvements in Adult Patients with Chronic Low Back Pain Under Low-Force Chiropractic Care, a Practice-Based Study. The original World Federation of Chiropractic was established at the World Chiropractic Congress in Sydney, Australia in 1988. The WFC represents the chiropractic profession in the international community and its voting members are national associations of chiropractors. The WFC is also one of the two organizations who sponsor major conferences on chiropractic scientific research, the other being ACC RAC. WFC's Congresses occur every two years, and the 2011 was held in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Of two to three hundred scientific research submissions, our study was among those selected by WFC for presentation. Scientific researchers, presidents, and some faculty of every chiropractic college in the world were in attendance. And 150 international chiropractic students representing every school were also there. This is a paper letter size version of the three foot by four foot poster that we took to Rio de Janeiro to represent our study. All posters had very specific guidelines and represented the abstract of their corresponding studies. This next group of slides is the abstract of our study. The background was that chronic low back pain cost the United States over $100 billion annually. The primary study objective was to report pain intensity, general health and functional disability outcomes after four weeks of DNFT chiropractic care for chronic low back pain patients. Our study was a prospective case series, non-randomized, non-controlled, practice-based study. The settings were 22 private chiropractic practices in the U.S. The subjects included 131 adult chronic low back pain patients, about half of whom were males, with a mean age of 47 years of age. Chief complaint being chronic low back pain, which is low back pain greater duration of three months, but the mean duration of the chronic low back pain was 11 years. The intervention was that each patient received six office visits over a four week period with doctors following directional non-force technique chiropractic protocols. Outcome measures included the Dartmouth Coop charts for general health, the modified Oswestry disability questionnaire for functional disability, and an 11-point pain intensity numeric rating scale for pain. The results of these three questionnaires are as follows. The pre and post mean scores of the COOP questionnaire were 13.16 and 10.52 respectively, showing a 20% improvement. The modified Oswestry scores were 17.72 and 8.92, indicating an almost 50% improvement in functional disability. And the PINRS, or visual analog, were 18.18 and 10.6, showing an improvement of almost 42%. Please notice the very low p-values, which indicate a high level of statistical significance. It is theorized that DNFT Chiropractic achieved these results through the features of the adjustment protocols. Kuslich et al. identified tissues that can transmit pain to the low back as facet joints, ligaments, muscles, fascia, and intervertebral discs. Both Bogduk and Kavanaugh et al. identified that nerve irritation and lumbar intervertebral discs and lumbar facet joints respectively can produce low back pain. The conclusions? Improvements appeared to be significant on general health, functional disability, and pain intensity after an intervention of four weeks with six visits of DNFT chiropractic care. These findings merit a randomized control trial of chiropractic versus a control group of other treatment modalities in the future. This table number one shows the baseline information on the subjects that were part of this study. 
Note that the, again, average age in years is 47, average weight 175, and the duration of low back pain, the mean value, was over 11 years. This chart shows, in chart form, the results that were already discussed on the previous slide. Coop questionnaire improvement of 20%, Oswestry 50%, and Visual Analog 42%. Table 3 compares our current DNFT study with four other chiropractic studies that dealt with chronic low back pain. The left two columns show N, the number of subjects in each study, and their respective p-values. The far to right columns show the net change of the Oswestry values and the number of adjustments per subject in each of the studies. As a result of our presentation at the Biennial Congress is that our study is published in the Conference Proceedings book and there's also an automatic submission to JMPT as a result of this acceptance. We are however currently in submission to a different peer-reviewed journal. The WFC 2011 conference officially began Thursday morning April 7th. There were five to six hundred doctors in attendance in a very large room with three screens and there were many informative and interesting presentations in addition to the scientific research. At the welcome sign for the hall you can see myself and Nadine Cady, our seminars coordinator. Here you can see in front of our poster Dr. Jerry Klum past president of WFC and longtime past president of Life Chiropractic College West. And he read the abstract thoroughly and offered us congratulations on the study. Here is Dr. Kim Kov explaining and answering questions about our study to Dr. Sean Heron of Western States University. Here we are both standing with Dr. Mitchell Haas a very prolific scientific research chiropractor associated with Western States. Here is Dr. Kov with Dr. Bart Green, Editor-in-Chief of the Journal of Chiropractic Education. The students who were present were part of a student organization that while participating in WFC were actually independent of it. They all seemed very bright, busily engaged in many meetings, and we're very friendly and open. We were all impressed by these future leaders of our profession. We welcome the opportunity to scientifically validate extraordinary results that have been reported for many years by DNFT practitioners and patients. We want to acknowledge those DNFT doctors who participated and or donated in this first scientific research study. And we also want to acknowledge those patients who donated toward the completion of this study's manuscript.